Now that we have a very good understanding of a simple hydraulic system, let's apply some more concepts to translate what you've learned into our everyday world. In the two labs, we learned how work is created by using energy to create enough force that transmitted the energy to move the right piston upward a certain distance. We also learned by changing the size of the piston, we are able to multiply the force with the same amount of energy. To make this practical, we talked about applying 100 pounds of force to generate 900 pounds of force upward on the right piston. That 900 pounds is called load. The load is the object we wanted to work upon. By definition, load is resistance to work. By definition, load is resistant to work. So, if we have a load we want to move, how do we create enough force to perform work? How do we perform work in a timely manner? The answer is creating a motor that generates power. In most hydraulic systems, the cylinders and pistons are connected through valves to a pump supplying high pressure oil that is powered by a motor. A motor is normally a small four-stroke gasoline engine that provides the power for the system. The engine is attached to a rotating element inside a hydraulic oil pump that pushes the fluid in one direction. This directional stream of high pressure runs to a valve that actuates to fill the hydraulic cylinder and release energy to create enough force to drive the piston. There is also a tank to hold the hydraulic oil that feeds the pump and usually a filter to keep the oil clean. Click on the word practice to learn more. In this practical application, click on each component of a hydraulic system to learn more. Click on the motor, which is normally a small four-stroke gasoline engine that provides the power for the system. Click on the hydraulic oil pump that has a rotating element inside of it, connected to the motor to push the fluid in one direction. Click on the directional stream of high-pressure oil. Click on the valve that actuates to fill the hydraulic cylinder and release energy to create enough force to drive the piston. Congratulations! You will need to remember this. Now click on the evaluation button to move on. In this evaluation, you are going to be required to demonstrate your understanding of how a basic hydraulic system works. Using your mouse, Click on the correct component in the correct order to generate force on the left piston until it moves the right piston one unit of measurement upward. Congratulations!